you to do a read for the sign of Cancer. So Cancer, shout out to you wherever you are on the planet. Thank you for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. We see you, acknowledge that fact, and we're grateful for you. Whether or not anybody else has told you this today, because everybody needs to hear it once in a while, and some people literally never get to. Delilah Tiberius said, I love you. It's solid. It is unconditional. It is a fact. If you're going to claim this reading only from your higher self and for your higher good, no force fitting. If you need to contact me, the information to do that is in the box below. And lastly, could you please hit the like and subscribe and ring that bell? It is fun. It is entertainment purposes only. It is free. It doesn't cost you anything and it will make you feel good. Because it's positive energy you are expending out into the universe that has no choice but to attract back to you, right? Energy, frequency, and vibration. In the meantime, we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every friggin' form possible to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this clear and ground for cancer. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, the Scented Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of cancer. Cancer, we're working with energy. It's fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody here today, yeah? Yeah. Here we go. Cancer. Cancer. Show me cancer. Cancer. Okay, cancer. We have some kind of a missed opportunity. And you could be dealing with somebody who's overly emotional or very... Okay, first of all, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is an energy of some kind of bad investment or a lack of planning or some kind of missed opportunity for some kind of prosperity. You're dealing with a Knight of Cups energy in reverse. So this could be you or somebody in your environment who is very vain, unrealistic, tries to avoid conflict, maybe overly sensitive or overly emotional in some way, maybe self-centered, maybe deceitful. Maybe this could be you, you know, in some kind of a bitter-ass energy over missing some kind of opportunity or... You missed this opportunity because somebody that you were dealing with was acting this way. Depending on your situation, it's going to be different for everybody. So let's see what else is going on here. Maybe because somebody was overly emotional here or overly sensitive or a little controlling or a little jealous, you know, um, maybe a little clingy. This is why they missed the opportunity. You have a Four of Swords in reverse. Four of Swords in reverse talks about... Um, Maybe feeling restless or there's some kind of stagnation now. Show me. Four swords in reverse. Yeah. Somebody could be having some kind of an awakening. Others of you could be feeling really burnt out in the situation. Maybe it's time like you need some kind of recovery or recuperation here. Show me. Now, the foundation of the situation, you had a king of swords energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Somebody who's very intellectual and constructive and um, honest. Someone who's very perceptive, a quick thinker, very disciplined and strict. Has a lot of integrity. Some, maybe some kind of authority. Maybe some kind of a bird's eye view. Very articulate. So using their head over their heart. Somebody could have been assessing a situation. And maybe they, they could have been somebody here that was watching or something. Or maybe, you know... and. Testing you in some way to see if you were available for some kind of an opportunity for resources and abundance here. And maybe perhaps you were acting a little immature or irrational or jealous or whatever it was. Overly sensitive. Now, crowning you, you have a four of cups in reverse. Four of cups in reverse is good energy. This is an energy of coming to some kind of acceptance and clarity in a situation. And when you accept things for the way they are and you're clear on them, whether you like them or not, this affords you the opportunity to move forward and regain happiness and not be like disgusted with a situation. You have a queen of wands energy. Aries energy over here coming in. So either somebody's coming in that has this in their chart very highly, or you do. But this is an energy of control and confidence. Being self-assured, vibrant, charismatic, making things happen, assertive, maybe even intimidating, okay? Action-oriented, getting things done with a lot of self-confidence, okay? And looking good while you're doing it, too. Knight of Swords. 
Somebody might be coming in because they have something to say to you. The Knight of Swords is an energy of somebody who's very straightforward and direct. They go after what they want and, and you know, in an energetic way with no fear. They could have some kind of skill. Somebody might ride some kind of a motorcycle here. I'm seeing a white motorcycle or a beige motorcycle. Somebody might be getting flowers here. Something could be significant about an owl. You got a two of swords in reverse. Listen, you're about to see something very clearly, okay? Two of swords in reverse. That is seeing something as clear as day. A truth is being revealed. Maybe there's some kind of indecision in the situation or confusion, but there's going to be some kind of truth revealed. This Knight of Swords could be coming in to say this to you, or perhaps this Queen of Wands. Or maybe somebody's going to take some kind of action here and be brave. Because the Knight of Swords is also somebody who clearly articulate themselves. What's going on here? Could be this King of Swords that saw something, but actually uh, they're coming in like a knight. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Somebody's going to be up in their head here. Somebody's got a lot of anxiety, worry, fear. Maybe even like serious depression, like real depression. Somebody might not go out. Somebody might not bathe. Somebody might be up all night crying, insomnia. I'm getting somebody who doesn't like to go out of the house, perhaps. Stay in bed. Stay twice as, you know. I don't know how many people could stay in bed all day, right? You got to get up and work, but you know what I mean. Show me. This energy here that I said might have, uh, like, see something, might have been, what they might clearly see somebody's depression. Maybe somebody's suffering from depression here, and this is what this Nine of Cups in Reverse is, like some kind of, you know, overly sensitive. Okay, now look. Now we have Gemini in the house. So wherever that lays in your chart, the Lovers. The Lovers is a soulmate union. The Lovers is like a perfect partnership. It's shared values, kindred spirits, you know, two people that are absolutely the same, no matter what they look like on the outside, no matter where they come from, it could be completely, totally different. They're the same underneath, okay? Somebody could have been born on the, mm, the 6th, the 9th, the 4th, or the 12th. Let's see. They got the magician. Again, Gemini energy twice. So somebody's got Gemini in their chart here. This is about manifestation. You know, it's the Magi, it's the Alchemist, it's taking resources that you have, mixing them together for your higher good, okay? So somebody's putting the work and the effort in. This is, whatever work and effort somebody's doing, they're actually trying to be a deliberate creator in their life. It's bringing in fairness and balance, Libra energy. Somebody's very focused here, okay, on their goals, on their ambitions. They want to achieve something. They want some kind of success or control over something, Cancer energy. You have Cancer, Libra, Gemini, and now you have the Fool. You have four... Yeah, four major arcanas across the bottom here, okay? So, taking a new leap of faith. Somebody here is focused on some kind of new opportunity that they have, some kind of new beginning, taking a new leap of faith, or what they want. They're trying to manif manifest some kind of justice, fairness and balance in the situation. They want to take control and have focus and overcome any obstacles to have this new beginning, this new chance at something, okay? This could be a lover here. This could be, you know, a soulmate here. Maybe you're going to see this very clearly. Obviously, somebody is. Yeah, now, Spirit's Advice, Three of Pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work. This is good. This is maybe about learning something new or teaching something new, apprenticeship, but it's about people putting effort in. It's about put some effort in. So as an advice, Spirit says put some effort into this situation. It's going to work out for your benefit, right? Uh, shit, you could have shared goals with this person. You know, it's a soulmate. It can be something that you've been manifesting. Somebody could have been born on the 11th here. Here we go. Queen of Cups. Love. Cancer Pisces is Scorpio energy. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Is somebody very calm, intuitive, warm, supportive, a healer. And what I say, put work and effort into this, right? Eight of Pentacles, working hard. This is about putting effort. The Eight of Pentacles talks about, you know, some kind of mastery, some kind of skill or talent, but it has, it's about commitment and dedication and focus, right? So commitment, dedication, focus with the Queen of Cups is commitment to this love, whatever this love is going to be. It's going to bring fairness and balance into a situation. It's going to be a new, a new beginning for you. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, solid. Okay. Now, for others of you, you know, stay focused on whatever it is you're doing for work. 
Maybe you're doing something that you love. Maybe you're doing something that you're putting a lot of love into. Maybe you're healing people, okay? Maybe you're very spiritual with something. Whatever you're doing, you, you're also very business-minded. You probably have Earth in your chart. And, you know, you're becoming financially stable. So keep working hard because it's turning you into the Queen of Pentacles. Especially, especially if you're doing something out of love, Cancer. If you're doing something from your heart to try to heal people and help people. Maybe some of you are in your North Node. Keep working hard. You know, at whatever it is you're doing, you're at an Eight of Pentacles. It's going to turn you into this Queen of Pentacles, okay? Somebody could be trying to get away with something. There could be some kind of betrayal, uh, some kind of deception or something going on here. It's the Seven of Swords, so be mindful of that. It could be on any level, right? I'm hearing new levels, new devils. So just mind, be mindful of people, you know? That, oh, yeah. Even if they're smiling, somebody's definitely trying to get away with something. They're, they're doing something and they're, you know, hiding their hand. Now, you have an emperor here. The emperor is like a boss. It's Aries energy for somebody that's very um, dependable and uh, logical. It's the best attributes of all four kings in one, but it is somebody that's up high. It could be like, you know, somebody that's some kind of a leader in some way. They could be trying to get away with something. You have some kind of emotional fulfillment and a wish coming true. Somebody might be trying to, listen, this is going to be crazy, Ken. Somebody might be trying to grant you some kind of wish, trying to get away with doing something here, like without being seen. Because this person doesn't look like they want to be seen. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Looks like everything. Somebody's coming in to make some kind of an offer. You have the Empress here. It's going to be judgment. You're going to get a truth. Whatever this is, you're going to get a truth. There's an Ace of Swords coming. Okay? So that's all that counts. Um, you're going to find it out. But the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Good luck and karma. Decisions are going to change your your destiny. It is your destiny somehow to have this wish come true, this success. Okay? Maybe be, even be in charge of something yourself. Uh, I told you, you have Sagittarius, you have Aries, you have Queen Ground Libra, Cancer, Gemini. Let's get you some kippers. Thank you again for hitting that like and subscribe. We really appreciate it, Cancer. Here we go. You have, here we go. Somebody could be getting married here, okay? Uh, or it could involve some kind of a marriage. Number three. You also have 37. So the number 10, there's some kind of poverty. It could be the end of some kind of poverty. If it's some kind of emotional poverty or lack of like love or intimacy in your life, that's changing, okay? 333, 333 megahertz, 333 hertz. This is your healing sound bath. Pure energy of the ascended masters. All right, let's see, what else? Now, you also have, somebody could be in some kind of bad health. That could be a poverty. Bad health is a poverty. Again, with the three, 333, okay? So somebody could be, 73 here, or 79, or 80, I'm hearing. Okay, somebody might be like sick in bed where they have some kind of a, a house attendant, like one of those health attendants or visiting nurses, I'm hearing visiting nurses. That's what you think, nurses that visit, that's nice. Um, again, another three. Somebody might be 83 here. Uh, toil and limbs, somebody's working really hard. Somebody might have some kind of factory or menial, like, slave labor type job where they got to wear a uniform. They're standing on their feet all day. They're doing something repetitive with their hands. They could be wearing some kind of a dowdy-ass uniform over here. They're not getting paid enough. It's a sweatshop. Yeah, somebody's really concerned. Somebody could be concerned about somebody's health over here. 33 or 6. 3, 3, 3, 3. Again, there's threes. Every card has a 3. 3 is very significant. Pure energy of the Ascended Masters, I'm telling you. All right, here at the bottom of the deck, there's a main female, some kind of sudden wealth, a message of concern, and unexpected income. So however you're going to get that, you know, it's going to be different for everybody, but it's going to open up a new pathway. Some of you might have to go on a journey to visit somebody or something like this. Maybe it's an elderly person that's sick, you know, it'd be nice. Show me. Yep. Some of you might, there might be a lot of options opening up to you, but exuberantly go after them, like, you know, live in the moment, have some fun, okay? You could be dealing with a younger a younger fire sign or a younger water sign. They could be a little bit immature and naive, but uh, innocent. I don't really think that this person is nefarious. There's going to be some kind of breakthrough. Somebody might be having a baby here, all right? Somebody's, somebody's definitely having a baby. Something you're doing could be going worldwide. There's going to be an ending and a transformation because of some kind of truth that you're going to find out. You're complete with a cycle here. And, you know, you could be going out to some social events or gatherings. Maybe you're going to meet somebody there that, that could lead to marriage. Show me. You have. Be proud of yourself. Yeah, give yourself a little credit. Okay? Last quarter moon in Taurus. 
I just had this with another sign that I did. I don't remember which one it was, but you got to give yourself a little credit once in a while. A lot of people don't give themselves enough credit for what they accomplish. I'll give you an example. Let's say you get you the type of person you just you join the gym, right? You go to the gym and maybe you just do half of a workout because you're tired or something that day. So you walk out, you know, knocking yourself. Oh, I didn't do like an hour on the bike, an hour over here, three hours over there. I only lasted 45 minutes today. So you, instead of saying, all right, wow, okay, give myself credit. At least I made 45 minutes feeling as dead ass tired as I was. You have to give yourself credit. Be proud of yourself for what you, every little thing, every little thing. <laughs> Be proud of yourself for every little thing. Here we go. Give me. Now. Full moon in Sagittarius. See the bigger picture and relax. Okay, that's new moon in Cancer. So you got the last quarter moon, the full moon, and the new moon. Cancer, Sagittarius, and Taurus. And over here is Leo, a new moon again. Let it shine. That's right, shine your light. Let it shine, let it shine. So hold on, let's give you some letters. We love you, Cancer. Here we go. Now, you have... Oh, somebody might be named Jade. Look, Jade came right out. Maybe you like Jade. Something about Jade. Here. I'm hearing Nadine. Let's see. We've got three Ds here. So whatever that is for you. I'm hearing linear. It's linear. Like time is linear. All right. Yeah. Jalen, Jalen. All right, here we go. Okay, you ready, guys? You have three E's, two A's, two I's, O. J L N F D three D's. Thank you so much. We love you. Always remember: lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light, guys.